Shalom, Yeshua. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Akab Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to those that are here. Let's preach the word on truth and sincerity. I want to just like foreigner brothers that are like the heathens. But the line on the false side goes back to the nation of Israel. Which nation of Israel? Are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? Through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is buddy, a call, a mouth, like a blessing. And, um, you know, I just got off the plantation, man. And, um, I got off late today. You know, I got relieved late. And, um, just, just, just was thinking, man, we, when we are yet this day in our captivity, man, as the scriptures say, you know. And I was just meditating earlier that, you know, it's going to be a, it's going to be one day, that we're not gonna have to work no more, man. You know, because as the scriptures say in Daniel 7 and uh, 25, that you know they shall wear out the saints of the Most High. You know, and we are the saints. You know, of Yahweh Most High, man. And the day that the day who's wearing us out is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. You know, by way of the system, man. You know, working these jobs. You know, some brothers working two jobs. Some brothers even out there working three. You know, or brother might work uh, one job and you know the DoorDash or Uber Eats. You know the uh, you know the um, the gig-based jobs. But man, this shit is getting overwhelming, man. You know, working five days a week. It's like man, this is it's getting getting overwhelming man you know brothers it's tired of working you know and all the funds that we get all the income that we get goes straight to bills man and rent you know and we just sell the payments man as, as the scriptures say which you know them are all curses man you know and um you know i just just can't wait man to the lord bring judgment you know because you know, where I work at, you know, I work at a, um, a art institute school, you know, and, you know, to go schools, to, to go to schools like that, you know, it's expensive, you know, and um, it's a lot of heathens that uh, go to the school, you know, mainly uh, Moab, you know, Moab and Ammon, and Chinese and Japanese, and they very powerful, man. They don't got no manners at all, you know. You know <laughs> they uh, you know, the scriptures talking about the pride of Moab, man. I was reading it earlier in the book of uh, Zephaniah, uh, the second chapter, in the eighth verse. You know that they uh, you know, it says that they had magnified themselves against the uh, against the Lord's people. And you can just, you know, when I'm working amongst the men, they don't, you know, sometimes I open the door for them and they don't say shit. They don't even acknowledge, like, because some of them don't speak English. But, you know, the common currency will be at least, if you don't speak English, at least acknowledge that, you know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm holding the door open for you, you know, which I'm not, um, you know, I'm not being emotional about it that they don't say thank you, but just make it a point that these heathens, they just make it a point that these heathens, they don't respect us, man. You know? You know, it's a lot of Moabites, Ammonites, and um, Elam, East Indians, man. They all are prideful. You know, and the scriptures talk about knowledge puff it up, so by them being at that school, they, they prideful. But it's gonna be a point in time, man. And the Lord's gonna recompense all our adversaries, man, all our enemies. You know, Storm with Esau Edom, man. You know, because these heathens, they should look down upon us, man. You know. And that's gonna change real soon. You know. You know, because we've been the Israelites.
like, man, period, has been um, disrespected for ages, man, for years, centuries. You know? We don't get that prestige and that power in the kingdom, man. It's, it's all going to start with our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. You know, we're going to get our respect back. You know, best believe that. You know, because sometimes, man, you know, you know, we humble men, you know, we take the low, you know, but sometimes you got to tell these heathens, man, like, hey, you know, they be doing, you know, they just think, they just feel entitled, entitled to everything, man, you know, <laughs> which I can see why they be, they can be like that because, you know, everything is uh, given to them, man, they, they're born, you know, with a silver spoon. You know, when they come over here to America, you know, because <clears throat> they already got all the, you know, everything is already set in stone for them, man. You know, they get all the business loans, the, the car loans, everything, you know. So, but my whole point of this lesson, man, just, we are yet this day in our captivity, man. You know, 2023, um, we are yet this day in our captivity. And that's why, you know, we are hastening to be loose, man. You know, but you have a lot of Israelites that want to stay here. You know, those, a lot of Israelites got, you know, they got uh, good jobs and, you know, they living good and got the uh, white picket, picket fence with the, the big house, the family. You know, as long as Jake got got a little money then they, they good man they don't care about oppression you know but as the scriptures say a gift destroys the heart man you know a gift is a bribe you know or money and it, it can destroy your mind you know, now you you know to the point that you only because we come from a, a heritage where the whole nation was thriving. You know, seeing this set up in Babylon the Great, you only have, for example, you know, one celebrity, right? Floyd, right? Floyd Mayweather. You know, he's a billionaire or a millionaire, however much money you make. I know he got money. But your whole, yeah, you got money as you as an individual but your whole nation is losing, you know? And these rappers and celebrities, you know, they they come, <laughs> they, 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 they was born, most of them was born in projects and live in poverty, you know, single parent homes, you know, father uh, either dead or gone, you know? It's like the father is either dead or in jail. Or the father is there, he, he's not raising his son to be, you know, to be a, a, a man with integrity, you know, to follow the Lord, man, for the most part. And that's why, man, we just got to get out of here, man. Just get this time out the, from the whole um, Isaiah, the first chapter. Um, just roughly paraphrase, but it's going to be. I can't go with my scripts because I'm been driving. But it says from, this, uh, from the head to the sole of the feet, there is no soundness in it. The whole head is sick, man. You know, we know the head is Judah. You know, so-called Negro, the black man, so-called African-American man. You know, all the tribes is messed up, man. And we definitely need healing. You know, that's why reparations are people, you know, fighting for reparations, but be honest, uh, FRA knows it's, gonna, it's not going to heal you. It's not going to restore you. It's not going to re, uh, rehabilitate, uh, rehabilitate you, man. You know, because Esau, the so-called white man, has great, they've done great damage to us. It's really, it was the Lord. You know, but he put the spirit on Esau because Esau is the Lord's weapon state, man. You know, and Lord calls Esau to chastise man, greatly. You know, to the point.
point, man, our people is too far gone. So money can't help. You know? The only one that's going to redeem us out of this harsh situation is our Louis Havishaw, man. The, the, the ultimate physician. You know, it says in the Apocrypha that the physician cut off, cut off a long disease. You know, which we can apply that, you know, carnally, the actual physician healing actual diseases in your body. But spiritually, that physician is our Lord Yahweh and, and our disease and diseases are the curses. You know, our Lord Yahweh is going to do away with all the curses, man. Either nation, you're gonna, you're gonna experience how we felt, man. To be lowly, you know, it ain't shit, man. You know, and we are the people of the Lord, so how much more than you damn heathens, man? That, that the, the, the Lord lacking you unto you, lacking you heathens unto spittle. So how much more for you? Now, we're gonna, you know, it says in the book of Psalm 67 that our Lord Yahweh Shai is gonna govern the people righteously. How our Lord Yahweh shall the government be righteously the heathen nations by way of the laws of his commandments. So we're not gonna be um be cut off to these heathens, man. You know. Now, you know, for that first thousand years, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna rule them with a the rule of iron. Uh, we're gonna rule them with the rod of iron, it's like you, you know, that rigor rulership to, to to put fear in these heathen nations to get our respect back, man. But after that, they're going to be released into their lands, except for Esau, you know, but the heathens, they're going to be released into their, to their lands, and they're going to be, they, they're going to be living good, they're going to be blessed, but they're not going to be blessed like us, you know, us Israelites, man, you know, we have a shot, you know, and that's the comfort, man, to know that we're not going to be in this pitiful condition forever. point in time, man, we ain't gonna never have to work again. You know, the scripture talking about the Psalms that they shall sing upon their beds, man. And that's that's the Israelites. It's talking about you how we sorry. And look, and, and the 144,000, man. You know? Because we're gonna be so happy in the kingdom, man. We're gonna be, <laughs> you know, literally singing. You know? In our beds when we wake up, just thanking you how about some outside. For how much, um, for how much he did for us, man. You know, because the Lord's gonna bless us exceedingly in the kingdom. He actually says in the book Isaiah that before we may ask, the Lord's gonna already gonna give it to us, man. Uh, you know, concerning the blessings. You know, so man, it's gonna be. That's why it's worth catching hell right now, man, and being in this truth. Yeah, it don't feel good, but it's worth it, man. Um, it says, I think it says in Romans 8 and 18 that, that uh, I forget how it go, man. Um, but basically, like some around the words that um, what we're going at this present time is not going to um, compare uh, to the kingdom, you know, if, I, if it's that scripture. It's either in Romans or 2 Corinthians, one of those two. You know, just, just thinking out loud, just meditating, man. You know, just got off the plantation, man. Got off late. You know, nigga woman would leave me late, so <laughs> you know, I'd be, you know. And that's another thing too, man. A nigga woman, they don't respect it. It's like, man, especially the, all tribes, but especially the so-called black men, man. You know, we had, you know, they just, just don't respect you. But that's gonna change, man. Say, um, she didn't say sorry I was late, none of that shit, you know. <laughs> it's a lot of, you know, it's, it's a lot of things brothers go through, man. You know, but really everything that we go through is, is what makes us stronger. The Lord had these things happen to us to make us stronger in the spirit, man. So we can have a cold spirit in our day of Jacob's trouble. Not cold like in, in wickedness but Paul like to be unfazed at these things man you know because we really gonna have to be hardened in 
those times. You ain't gonna be able to trust no one except for the occupant, the beloved occupant of faith, man. If, if we're around brothers in the time of Jacob's trouble, because it may be some of our lives to gotta be solo. You know, but you know, as regards and uh, you know, if you be around Akin, they're the only ones that you can, that you can trust in Jacob's trouble. is gonna be cut though man everybody gonna it's good to say in the back for that friends shall fight against one another so everybody gonna be <laughs> cut though to each other man but the difference between us and the world man we got the comfort and we know what's coming you know you know we know you how we on the crack the clouds and the Lord wouldn't deliver us man you know and hopefully this is gonna destroy this place before all that happened, man, uh, as far as I always say, the MOTB, the Mark of the Beast, I was like, I didn't mean to say it, you know, you know got this. it's like, you know, certain buzzwords we can't say because YouTube, the algorithm, will take our channel down, but you brothers know what I mean, you know, MOTB, the C hip, according to Revelation 13 and 16, you know, that has, the C hip has to be made mad at the first, for our hell babies before the destruction of America and the second coming by Lord Yahweh Shah. You know. But uh but yeah, I can I don't want to make this video too long. Just, you know, I'm just want just a little rant, man, just speaking out loud, you know, because sometimes you gotta just, you know, record and just speak in the spirit. And, you know, of course, you know, uh preachers come to your mind, you know, as you, you know, driving and stuff. I just want to, you know, do a lesson. I, it's weird for me to do these type of videos. I never do these type of videos, but, you know, the Spirit jumped on me to do it, you know, so. But, uh, but yeah, I keep, that was, that was pretty much it. I just want to make, you know, a little, little uh, in-transit video. The old woman was edifying, you know. I know I couldn't bring those scriptures because, uh, read the scriptures because, you know, I'm driving. But, you know, brothers and Look up the precepts that I, I quoted, but uh, but yeah, Lowell I was Lowell I was edified. So with that, we give all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kadosh. Double honors to the apostles, the elders, great millstone, peace and blessings go for the Akim. That's peace of word and all truth in the city. Shalom, Lord, 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 Lord.